I'm gonna start by applying soft ochre to the eyelid and I'm gonna use this as a base to just even out the um, skin tone or should I say uh, the colors on and around the eyelid I'm gonna warm up the crease with um, Latte by Makeup Geek and I'm just gonna apply this in the crease and a little bit higher I'm gonna start with Coco Bear by Makeup Geek in the outer corner I'm just gonna use the same brush just make sure you use a fluffy brush because it should be a natural transition left on the brush then I'm moving on with uh, mocha by makeup geek which is a little bit darker and I'm gonna use that too in the outer corner for a little bit of uh, definition I'm not really making a V I'm just slightly darking up the whole outer corner Then I'm using Purely Naked and I'm gonna put that over the rest of the lid. Then moving on to eyeliner. Her eyes were lined but she didn't have a wing. So I'm gonna line my eyes but not with a wing. Then I'm gonna use a really pale color to highlight the inner corners. Then I'm gonna go in with Mocha again and run it along the lower lash line. I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply mascara. I feel like I need to darken up my outer corner a little bit more, so I'm gonna go back in with uh, mocha just a little bit. It's always better to start with um, a light hand. So to apply a little bit and then blend it and apply and blend it and apply. Now Rihanna had a flawless complexion and to get a little bit of flawlessness in my life I'm gonna uh, combine NARS Sheer Glow with a MAC Face and Body. This one is light coverage and this one is more of a medium coverage. But I'm mixing them because um, the NARS one is a little bit too dark and this one is a little bit too light. So it's the perfect combo.
Now I have a little bit of a discoloration going on around the mouth, so I'm gonna correct that with, um, with a prep and prime pen. And oh, it's a highlighter actually, but I like to use it to correct these dark spots. Just gonna apply it around the mouth, and then a little bit underneath the mouth. She had a lot of highlighting going on, so I'm going to start with concealer. Just going to press it into the skin. Now that is done, I'm going to start with the highlighting and contouring part. For the highlighting part, I'm gonna use my uh, Too Shade Claw by Yves Saint Laurent. Just gonna bring it along the forehead, down the nose, and then underneath the eyes in the triangle. Just make sure you look like a warrior. When you do, you get it down. And the upper lip and the chin. And then I'm moving on to contouring. And for that, I'm gonna use a black up contouring stick. I'm not using the highlight of it because the highlight part is a little bit too light. The contouring is going to be underneath the cheekbone. Ooh, it's a lot thicker. Then a little bit on the forehead. On that line. Underneath the jawline. Then I'm just going to blend it all out. I'm going to start with the highlighted part. Then I'm going to blend out the contour part. Make sure you blend out the jawline really well because you don't want to look like you have a beard. We all know that ain't cute. Well, that is done. I am going to set it all with a powder. First, I'm going to start with setting the highlighted part. Then I'm going to set the contour part. I'm just going to do that with the contour powder. So with the contour powder, I'm just going over all the parts that I've contoured with the cream. Same thing I did with the highlighting. Now she didn't really look like she had blush on, well not a color at least. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some um, bronzer, bronze it up a bit. I forgot to apply my um, mascara on the lower lashes, so I'm gonna do that in a second. The most important part of the look was obviously the lips. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line my lips first.
Now you can go over that with Sin by MAC, which is a really nice deep red, well, it's more of a purpley red, really dark, love it. But her lip looked a little bit more glossy or on the glossier side. So I'm gonna go in with um, Mulberry by Sleek. It's a really dark one as well. Dat was het voor de look. Deze look gaat echt helemaal om de donkere lippen, de rustige ogen, mooie gladde huid. En um, ik vind het ook perfect voor de herfst en voor de avondje uit. Dus uh, ja, ik hoop dat je het leuk vond en tot de volgende keer. Doei!